Sometimes we come across patients who make us think more of them and unintentionally involve us in their whole diagnostic process. This case is one of such experience which I had. With these words, I am Dr. Manish and I welcome you all to another interesting clinical video on mucopolysaccharidosis type 4, also known as MOCQ disease. Mucopolysaccharidosis cases are a diagnostic challenge primarily because these cases are rare to see in pediatric outpatient clinics and secondarily due to not easy availability of specific enzyme assays. So let's start with our case and I'll discuss things simultaneously. 12 year old boy weighing 21.4 kilos presented with complaint of pigeon chest since birth, not gaining height for 6 year, difficulty in walking for 5 year. Full term small for gestational age baby delivered vaginally. 26 year old mother had regular antenatal checkups. Consanguinity present. There is no history of similar complaint in other family members. Attained all milestones at appropriate age. Cognition is intact. On examination, height is 112 cm and upper segment to lower segment ratio is 0.96. If you observe carefully, you will note that facial features are coarse. Bilateral corneal clouding is present. Teeth are small with abnormally thin enamel. Palate is high arched. Neck is short. Pectus carinatum present. There is no organomegaly, scoliosis is present, lumbar ladosis is present, bilateral genovalgum is present and gait is rattling. Based on presenting complaints and examination findings, differentials are mucopolysaccharidosis and hypothyroidism. As clinical suspicion is of mucopolysaccharidosis, so a skeletal survey is justified and radiographs of chest spine, pelvis and hands are sent along with serum TSH as clinical suspicion is also of hypothyroidism. Chest x-ray shows wide ribs. See how wide the ribs are. If you are routinely seeing chest x-rays, you will immediately identify this. Spine of this boy is not straight and on clinical examination also scoliosis and lumbar lordosis noted. Vertebral bodies are immature and ovoid in configuration as you are seeing here. Vertebrae look hook shaped. X-ray pelvis shows inferior portion of ilia on the right side as well as left side to be hypoplastic with iliac flare and shallow acetabular fossa on both sides. Both femoral necks on the right side as well as left side are in valgus position. Coming to hand, phalanges are bullet shaped as you are seeing here. Proximal pointing of metacarpals except that of thumb. Carpal bones are small as a result configuration of digits is V shaped. C V. Bony trabeculations are coarse as you are seeing here and cortices is thin. See how thin the cortex is. Finally, coming to TSH report which is normal. So, a provisional diagnosis of mucopolysaccharidosis is made specifically type A as clinical and radiological findings are matching this type. As a next step, specific enzyme assays to estimate galactose 6-sulfate sulfatase and beta-galactosidase sent. The result shows galactose 6-sulfate sulfatase to be deficient and beta-galactosidase to be normal. So a diagnosis of MOQA is confirmed. Now when the diagnosis is established, samples are sent for mutation analysis. Six monthly follow-ups are advised 
to look for complications. Spiral 3D CT, cervical spine and cervical vertebral junction done with shows. Atlas to be in normal alignment. No occipitalization of atlas is seen. Hypoplastic odontoid process is noted. Spinal canal diameter is narrow at C2 and measures 10.5 mm. Hypoplastic C3 vertebral body is noted which is subluxated posteriorly causing significant narrowing of spinal canal measuring 6.7 mm at C3. Rest of visualized vertebrae are hypoplastic and shows anterior beaking as you are seeing here. Posterior elements of visualized vertebrae are normal. The sad part of the whole story is that there is no definitive treatment available for the proband. That's all for now in this video. If you have any queries or suggestions then do post in the comment section below. If you haven't liked or shared yet then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.